questions. And you present before us the challenge on how to utilize all of the gifts that come our way so that all can benefit. We ask your wisdom for that, for human wisdom is not nearly enough. Guide and direct those here this evening as they deliberate and as they work for the best interests of this city and its citizens. Amen. Thank you very much. Is there any additions to the agenda? Madam Yes. I um, added on the Blue Cross Blue Shield renewal.
Police Department had quite a few kids last night? Um, yeah, we did. We had to cut it off because of a case. Okay. We had about uh, 40 before that. That's a good crowd. All right. Sunny. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, I've asked the mayor to uh, give me a couple minutes tonight to uh, address the council. Uh, it's coming down to the end of my uh, career. I issued a letter to her telling her I'd be retiring the 31st of December. And uh, actually, I'll be leaving the department around the 11th of November because I have that much. Uh, accumulated uh, vacation time and I want the opportunity to thank each one of you for the support that I've received you and the past council. It's been a wonderful 11 years, one of the highlights of my career and uh, I, I'm just kind of lost to words. I, I just really love St. John intend to stay here and be part of the community and I'm always available to help anybody that, that needs it. So, Mayor. Yeah, thank, thank you, Sonny. Appreciate uh, it. Thank you, Sonny. You bet. Thank you for your service, sir. Yeah. Thank you, Sonny. You bet. Thank, thank you, Sonny. Administration, John of um, Yes, <clears throat> I was notified by Blue Cross Blue Shield that um, they brought our new contract and it has actually gone down. So if we stay with the contract that we have, which means we're grandfathered and they can't do anything, it won't, we just stay the same. We can do that for maybe two more years. That's still up in the air where they can't take any of our benefits and it can't increase, um, it can't leave the employees kind of out. There's still so many things that they haven't gotten finished up with on this health bill. So if we can stay put, it went down about 9%, which is a, around $1,200 per month. So awesome. Yes, that's unheard of, isn't it? Yeah. And that's happened one other time since I've been here, so. If you so choose, we would need a motion to approve the contract for 2012. How would we approve the contract for 2012? Second. Any more discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. All those opposed say no. Thank you. That's all I have. Any questions for John this evening? <coughs> Thank you. Don, do you have any Is there any questions for Don this evening? Thanks, Don. There is any new business, old business, organo, well, it's done and heard. There's definitely anything back. you guys if that's something that you would like to go ahead and discuss. I, it seemed I'm to sorry. me, I had a, a note on my agenda in my minutes last time that I was to put this out for you again in case you wanted to go ahead and discuss it.
change was we added the supplemental generation user rate. And there's two variations in there. One was to keep in the, to allow some, you know, Greg's numbers were to allow some discount for those people that live outside the city. That would be that $12.30. Um, if you wanted to just keep everybody the same, then I would suggest you go, you just omit that one, and, and everybody in the city would be the $12.50. That would make everybody about the same. But if you want to recognize that there are some services they don't get, then uh, you can go ahead and pass it like it is. Uh, I did visit with Greg Rice on this also, and one thing that could be done at the upper council, of course, uh, we could call this an experimental rate because of the situation that would only apply to a renewable uh, energy source, you know, as solar or wind or something like that, and that's the only, you know, only one that could take use of this if we would label it as such. So, uh, so do we need to wait then? No, no I mean, we're if, fine. If we, just, I mean, we can change the name. I mean, obviously, I prepared this for the September meeting that we right. acted on that night. We'll have to change the dates on it. Uh, you could, if you want to pass the ordinance tonight, subject to the, the dates being changed to a date that you want to start it, and subject to the name change from supplemental generation rate to experimental generation rate, that would be fine. So that's. Up to you if you want to take action on tonight or not. If you ask us to bring it back to you, that's what it is. Yes. How does the council feel? I think, I don't know, did, did, Troy was the one that was really questioning this mm -hmm. pretty hard and heavy. Yeah. I think maybe it'd be best to wait until he's here. Okay. <coughs> Kind of my feeling on it. Okay. Not a problem. If we were to <coughs> bring it up again next time, what dates do you want to have this effective so we can have it ready that way you can just enact it? I mean, give us a little direction. You want to start it January 1? I mean, as a, as a possible date, uh, and then we'll change the name. Do you like supplemental or do you want to use experimental? I mean, give us some feedback here so that we can make the proposed changes. And then you can either adopt it or not at the next meeting. Instead of supplemental generation, use a rate, do experimental. Experimental. experiment. I am a fan of experimental. I, yeah, I agree. Good. I think experimental would be would be best for that. Okay. Down at the bottom, John. <coughs> Fifteen dash three twenty five. And what date would you like to if we do I mean, you gotta give the staff a month or two leeway to get the, because they'll have to change the, uh, there'll be some software changes on some of this. I mean, I don't think that this is going to go into effect right away. It's not going to, the current ones aren't going to affect at all. It is if this one customer does it, we might have to bill him separately using a different billing program where, you know, probably make journal entries and not as well the same for a while until we get it. And then also, too, what about the 1250 or the 1230? Keep it the same, or? Well, I think that's Troy's. I think that's what she was saying. Okay. Oh, keep that the same. Okay. All right. So, I would okay. say maybe March 1 or February. I think January 1. Be a little quick. Mm -hmm. Yeah. March sounds really good. Yeah. Okay. I figured that things tend to pile up at the end and beginning of the year. So, okay. Any more input? Council? Yes, I'm sorry. Well, that's fine. I didn't plan to say anything. I just was interested in what was going on in the city business. And when the electric rates came up, uh, it reminded me of something uh, from uh, Ministerial Alliance just a few days ago. Uh, when the Alliance or another group like that is willing to pick up somebody's bill that uh, is way past due, uh, I know in this case there was concern about us having to pay reconnection fees. 
uh, that was waived, I understand. But it'd be nice if there was some kind of a policy that uh, was a part of the city's standard policy when one of the groups like the Alliance or so on has said they'll take care of uh, a customer who's been behind. Uh, in this case, Jim was, uh, he was out of town with some medical treatments, so he couldn't come in until a day or two later. But uh, yeah, I think it would kind of relieve a little of the anxiety of something that's supported by people's donations not being used to meet just some reconnection fees. Yes, yes. Um, what actually happened there is there was one person who let us know that they were trying to contact Mr. Lakey, mm -hmm. and so we left them on. We did mm -hmm. not. I know you didn't. Just um, like it, the other one we had no communication with until we had shut them off, and so at that point, that's when they mm -hmm. went to you guys and we, you know. As I understand it, they did not charge you for the pre-trial. I don't think so, but it was just kind of a concern, and if, if policy was known, why well, we wouldn't worry about it. I know Jim kind of was worried that we were using funds to take care of that, that's been donated. So, just a suggestion, and something you might consider. I'll go away. <laughs> Seems I already spoke, but I didn't intend to. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, so we'll put this on old business the next time, John, please. Private water wells and the service connection. This is up to council. council. We'll present some information if you want to act on it now or later. I was given to you the last meeting. Right? Yes. Remember the papers you got? There was an ordinance I gave to you all, and there was really nothing on private wells, but we discussed about, you know, how, how far we wanted to take this. And I know one thing was mentioned, we'll just stick with what the, the state requirements were, and, you know, it's, we can do that, or we can be more stringent, or we can have inspections, and we get a you know, permit fee, that's just all things to consider, so. I think, me personally, I think it should be inspected. You know, you could have a permit fee that would cover the cost of inspection. You know, if you had, you know, I'm no geologist, but I mean, if that's what it's going to take, then mm -hmm. we need to have our fee to be able to cover, cover right. that. So, right. And I could find out what, you know, what a, that would a good cost. number would be to, to cover that. So. Okay. Uh, Yes, Amy, would you sit down? Mm -hmm. I'd say keep it under the business. Okay. Um, are there other things that you want us to find out information on so that you are able to make some decisions? Or? Like the amount of the fee and the inspection. Uh, okay. Don't got that. Anything else? Yeah, Madam Mayor, what's it going to consist of to comply with the permit? You're going to have to have a geologist come in and that's be there while you, while you drill a well, or it's just something that's going off of a record? Or something that's what? Going off of a, a public record, or where are you going to get the information? What kind of information are you looking for, for to apply to get the permit? It's the person drilling the well. Right. Is the geologist going to have to be there when the well is drilled? Yes. Yeah, the way I look at that's it. That's what we were. That, that is the question. Do, do we want to go that far? And in other words, if you want to put a private well on your property, we would uh, charge a fee to cover the cost of a geologist being there to do the inspection on the well while there. If you don't want to do it, that's fine. But you know, you would need something to cover that expense. And so that's just one thing to look at. Whether we want to go that far or just. You know, in the past, all we required is just use a license license driller. You know, that's all we've ever went with. So, yes. Problem is, what are you going to have this geology do? Just watch it go down. I mean, he's got to have some criteria. He's or he's got that. I mean, is he going to require to be sealed at certain water levels? I mean, 
I mean, we and our geologists can out there and watch somebody drill a well, but I mean, what is he going to be looking for and what is the standards you're going to apply to that? That's the issue. That's, yeah. that's, that's what I'm trying to yeah, say. Yeah, what are we looking for? And, and that's exactly right. And you've got to have some kind of standards to look at. If you don't have that, then, then you know, and we, we've got to develop those standards because we're in a unique hydrology here and you've got to have it done for our area and not for Timbuktu or anywhere else. I mean, it's got to be designed for the, they have to be designed for our hydrology. And so it's going to, it's going to entail some more expertise than I can write. I mean, I can say you can't grow down more than 40 feet, but that's not going to solve an issue. I mean, right. you know, we've got to have something there for the person to look for. <clears throat> if you've got a drilling contractor on location, he's certified to do that. I mean, they're not only drilling them here in town, but they're drilling all over the state camps. you got a drilling contractor to drill every freshwater well for a drilling. There's nobody out there. They can go out and drill a well. I question it. I mean, if you're going to try and preserve that safe water down in the bottom, you got to have somebody say, well, how deep is it? You know, is it going to be cemented in? Is it going to be caulked away? I mean, there, there's got to be some criteria drawn. And so, and Bobby's exactly right. I mean, you know, the, we could go outside the city limits here and somebody could drill a, a water well, a water well and, and screw the whole thing. Yeah. But I hate to see you make it where somebody here in town can't drill a, a water well. And you can go right outside of town in the county, right outside of city limits, and do whatever you want to do. That don't make much sense to me. I understand, but I, I want it done right. I mean, I just don't want... But I, we ought to see what they're... The some group. farmer John come in and say, hey, I can drill a well for you. And, you know, put down a water well and it's not done right. I don't... Unless you put that one down yourself, I think Kevin's got a digger. I don't know. Or somebody's got a got a, a, a pump, bale, whatever you want to call yeah. it. But you get a drilling contractor, somebody that drills water wells, they do it every day. You know? True. And if you want to write some rules on how you want to, the ge ge geometry structure of the of the behind the pipe, you know, that's some that's gonna take somebody like Ned Marks or some engineer or something to design that water well for. Do you want to get that serious? I question it. No, I don't. It'll cost you $3,000 to go away. Right. right. And I don't think you need to really do that. I agree with you. Kevin, what were you going to say? Oh, I was just going to have somebody or go to the... Uh, Soil conservation, where the, the people in the county have to buy a permit to have a well and see what the requirements are that they need. Okay. I mean, any well driller I talk to says, as long as I'm 50 feet from a wooden structure, we can fish you in a well. But I haven't seen that in writing. That'd be something to see. There's surely something else besides that. That's pretty much. I think there's some regulation on how far from a septic tank. Oh, yeah. Yeah, there's that. It's 100 feet. And anybody with any common sense would want to drill one next to it. <laughs> well, I know. <laughs> Fertilizer like that or something to like that effect. Well, we might we'll put some stipulations on where you can put a well. Okay. So I'll leave it on old business, please. Good job. I'll take a shower. Second. Second. 